And it's a primary challenge in South Carolina against Senator Lindsey Graham, my next guest announcing his candidacy official today. Joining us now, candidate for the Republican Senate nomination in the great state of South Carolina, State Senator Lee Brightly. Good to have you with us. Uh, we are delighted that uh, you, you have uh, announced your candidacy, and uh, it's going to be fascinating. Uh, Senator Graham's got six million bucks, we understand, in his campaign coffers. Uh, how much have you got? Well, we just started today, Lou, and I thank you for having me on the show, but we just got out of the gate today. We're looking to raise, obviously, we're not going to be able to raise as much money as Senator Graham, but what we do have is the truth and liberty on our side, and we feel like we connect with Americans and mm -hmm. South Carolinians, so we think that we'll be able to raise enough money to get our message out, and that's what we're counting on. Well, and that's the way politics ought to be. It shouldn't be about money, but we know it does play a role. Uh, you're... You would describe yourself, I believe, as a, would you not, a Tea Party conservative? Well, we have a, a uh, Liberty Caucus here in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I have a 100 score with those guys. With the uh, South Carolina Club for Growth, I have a 100 score every year since I've been in the Senate. On Governor Haley's Tea Party uh, scorecard, I've got an A-plus with the Tea Party group. So we, we've done quite well in the, in the state Senate, but we'd like to take our message to Washington. We have uh, fought to try to bring back the power to the states that the Constitution afforded them and take it away from the federal government, but we feel like we need folks in Washington pushing that power back. Well, you're facing a primary with Nancy Mace, uh, who is uh, the first female graduate of the Citadel, businessman Richard Cash. Uh, why is Lindsey Graham facing a primary? Uh, he's a two-term senator. Uh, what, what are your objections to the man, and what are you going to do about it? Well, I feel like he hasn't shown the leadership he needs to show on conservative causes. And I think he would hear that if he was back in South Carolina during the break, but instead he's been over in Egypt running around with McCain, acting as a uh, community organizer for the Muslim Brotherhood. So I do feel like that he has not listened to South Carolinians, and I feel like he's going to hear us loud and clear come June. Did you just say community organizer for the Muslim Brotherhood? Yes, sir. I thought that's what I heard you say. Uh, well, they were, in fact, trying to, uh, to, to bring the Muslim Brotherhood back into the government uh, after the uh, military had gotten them out of there. Uh, you, uh, you also say Senator Graham has allowed just about all of his policies to be dictated uh, by Senator John McCain. Uh, why, what do you mean by that? I think I know, but I want to hear from, from well, you. Well, well, John McCain has, has been basically a tool for the Democrat Party for quite a while now, and, and basically Lindsey Graham has followed in suit. And, you know, if you start negotiations at A and Z and say the Republicans are at A and the Democrats are at, at Z, you'll notice that uh, McCain and Graham jumped to Y in a hurry. And they're not best for negotiating our freedoms, you know, when it comes to our civil liberties. You know, the Waco Bird comment and things of that nature. And then the Second Amendment, where Graham made a comment in a hearing, he actually had the audacity to say that the Second Amendment was for reasonable men, for reasonable purposes, and, and we all know that, that the framers of the Constitution were concerned about a tyrant like they had in, in uh, Great Britain, and they didn't want that again, and that's the Second Amendment was for defending liberty. Yeah. Uh, King George didn't think the, uh, our founding fathers were reasonable men, did he? Uh, you have said some things, however, that are very, Not controvers at all. very controversial. Uh, you have said uh, that you'd make it a crime to enforce Obamacare in South Carolina, but which, of course, would not have effect since it's a, a federal law. You also call for South Carolina. Is it correct to issue its own currency? Well, it was a study committee, basically something that was passed in Virginia that was just a study committee in case there was a collapse, yeah. but in the media oh seized on I've, that. And Lee Brian, I've I've got, I've, I'm sorry, we're out of time, and I've got to say thanks for being with us. Come back, we'll talk more.